In this video, I'll show you 10 best things to see in Barcelona. We spent amazing 5 days in Barcelona and here are our top 10 attractions. I'm standing right in the middle of Catalonian Square in Barcelona. How do I know I'm in the middle? Well, this white circle in the back marks the spot. This is the point from where all the distances in the city are measured from. Catalonian Square is also a good starting point since many different streets and avenues meet right here. This is the soul of Barcelona. This long and wide pedestrian avenue surrounded by trees, coffee shops, restaurants, kiosk shops, flower shops, and it's full of all kinds of interesting things. It's called La Rambla, and it stretches for 1.2 kilometer or 0.8 miles all the way from Catalonian Square down to the sea where there is Statue of Columbus. What you see on this side used to be the ancient city walls that protected old Barcelona. And this street, La Rambla, was used as waterway for all the heavy rainfall that fell in the autumn and spring and also for all the sewer that went out from the city. When they expanded the old city walls, they also moved the waterway. And there was a new space that La Rambla could convert into the street we know today. This is the most famous market in Barcelona, La Boqueria. Here we can find food from all over the country and it's fresh. It's so fresh that some of the food is still moving. This is Montjuic Hill, and it is one of the must-see places in Barcelona. There are many reasons for it. The first one is obvious. It's the views. The other reasons include two global events. The first one happened in 1929. This was the time of World Fair or Expo. In that time, they built the National Palace, the Magic Fountain, and the Spanish Village which is a really cool open-air museum. The second global event happened in 1992. You see, we just turn around the numbers. This was time of Olympic Games. And on this hill, they've built Olympic Park and the Olympic Stadium. This is Spanish Village. It's not really a village, it's more like an open-air museum. This was built in 1929 for World Fair Expo. The idea was that this place would represent architecture from all autonomous regions of Spain. Not all, because two are missing. 
The first one is missing because simply it wasn't autonomous region at the time this place was built. And the second one are Canary Islands and they are not here simply because the architects couldn't afford to fly there. The idea was that this place would be demolished after the expo. But as you can see, it became very popular and it's still here. This is Magic Fountain, one of top attractions in Barcelona. The magic happens during the night. In the evening, they have this spectacular show of water, light and music. We found out that tonight, because of the restoration work, there will be no magic. So this lovely lady next to me, which is my wife, is unhappy at the moment. Barcelona also has one of the best city beaches in the world and it's easy to see why. This used to be just an industrial area. But for 1992 Olympic Games, they transformed this area into different sandy beaches, harbors, and I think they did a spectacular job. This used to be just a regular, old, boring house until 1900s. Then it was bought by the Batlow family. They were influential family in textile business and they wanted to make an impression. And they did. They got the best architect they could, Antoni Gaudi. And he transformed their boring, regular old house into one of the most special, interesting, and worthwhile visiting places in Barcelona. This is Gothic Quarter, one of the oldest parts of Barcelona. From here, the city was spreading out. Today, this is mainly a pedestrian area, full of narrow winding streets with all kinds of shops, restaurants, coffee places and old churches. And the crown jewel of them all is Barcelona's Cathedral, not to be mistaken by Sagrada Familia, which is a new church that's still under construction and is far away from here. Today is a little bit hazy, 
but otherwise Guell Park offers one of the best views over the city of Barcelona. You know what? I'm still happy. It's another masterpiece by Antoni Gaudí. Today it's public park, but this wasn't planned as a public park. This was a planning project and here they wanted to sell 60 plots for upscale homes. The plan didn't go too well. They've built just two houses and they couldn't sell those two houses. So eventually Gaudí ended up buying one of the houses and this was his home for the last 20 years of his life. Park is split in two sections. This is the monumental area where you need to get a ticket and the rest of the park is free of charge. This is a Roman Catholic church, but it's so different, it's so organic, it's so special. It's really an incredible piece of architecture. On the outside, this place is full of details, full of statues, there are so many stories. But on the inside, it's completely different. Inside is just this vast, glorified space that's very organic and it's connecting you with nature and with God. This is still a construction site. They started to build it in 1882 and it's still not finished. It will be finished in 2026. So can you imagine? The building period is from 1882 till 2026. When finished, it will have 18 spires. 18. At the moment, it has eight and it's already spectacular. These were top 10 sites in Barcelona, but there are many, many more worth seeing and exploring. It all depends on how much time you want to spend here. We haven't even mentioned all cool museums and galleries. And on top of it all, you can also add some beach time to this. Anyway, if you like this video, give us thumbs up. You can also share your thoughts or experience about Barcelona in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, because this way you're helping us create more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.